Hey, it's Monday, February 26, 2018, and it's time to go to work on music. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. I'm in a really good place and excited for a productive session as usual. Going to hit some online classic, uh, classes, update you with what's going on there. Going to get a drum practice in and share my progress. Going to knock out the, well, double check the bridge drums that I tracked a couple days ago. Make sure those are in a good spot. Possibly track some more on those if needed. Um, and then track and track a fill going into the second chorus, which has sort of just been in the back of my mind. I can already play it, so it's just a matter of sitting down and doing a few takes to get it nailed. And then uh, if I have time, sketching out the third chorus part, but I think that's the final drum tracking that I'm going to end up doing on this tune, which is uh, pretty awesome. Then going to take a break, have some food, and dive back in on the production front and check yesterday's guitar solo takes. I'm 99.9% .9 sure, like I said last night, that I knocked that out, thank goodness. And then I'm going to just dive headfirst into the new song and make sure I make some significant headway on uh, all the crazy riffage that uh, that song entails. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts or questions as we go, and I'll update you at the end with what I accomplish. Here we go. Alright, fantastic first half of the day. I jumped into the online class front and hit the Savvy Musician Academy ebook. Uh, main takeaway from that is when you're done with your recordings and everything's mixed, mastered, polished, ready to go, you want to give yourself at least three to four weeks to build up a buzz, do some press releases, etc., before your release date, and uh, pick a pre sale as well, because that can help fund some of the rest of the album if, if you need it. Uh, then I jumped into the Steph Curry Masterclass and he did a little segment on just making sure you love what you do and really enjoying the process, which is of course what I talk about every single video. And he talks about how number one, that's how you're going to outcompete other people because you're going to legitimately love working on it. And number two, it's going to how you're going to enjoy your life, right? You love what you do every single day. Um, and so working on it isn't a challenge, it's exciting and it's fun and you expect things to come together and it's beautiful. Um, then I jumped into the Annie Leibovitz class and that was talking about uh, conceptual pieces where it's all about number one, um, doing your homework and research on the subject, number two, having some type of idea or concept going into it that you think will be interesting or cool, and then number three, just reacting to the subject's energy in that piece, picking something that's different or new or fresh for them so that it's not just the same old stale, you know, photography session kind of like over it thing, you know. Um, then I took a quick rest and just watched part of a Gary V inter uh, sort of meeting interview vlog with um, an up and coming rap artist which was really cool and I'm only about a third of the way through it but they're covering some really interesting ground and I love his piece on the music industry stuff and it's a really beautiful and consistent message uh, then uh, and, and the main takeaway there was just if you've got something to say just say it on social media speak your truth that's really what it's all about and just don't be afraid to do a lot of that. And that was the other takeaway from the Savvy Musician ebook uh, work I did today, actually, now that I think about it, is post a ton on social media. You know, you, you worry people are going to get annoyed with what you do, but they're not going to get annoyed because they're probably not going to see it that much. <laughs> uh, because they're probably only going to see, like, maybe 10 to 50% of the posts you do. And if all the posts you do are, are cool and quality and they've got a unique and interesting idea, then why would you care if people saw a lot of it and why would people be annoyed if you're putting out tons of really awesome stuff I mean if it's great put it out there or if it's true I should probably say you know if it's real put it out there so um, I then jumped on the drums did a quick warm-up and then listened to 
the drum takes, sort of scratch takes for the bridge section, and I ended up liking the more technical take better. I had these sort of laid back groove oriented ones, and then I had one that was synced up with the horn section, and I was like, you know what? That's actually hitting me a little bit better right now. So I sat down and did a more sort of specific demo, just singing into my phone with some drum parts and ideas, just kind of improvising, and then sat down at the kit and worked all of those out. And it's amazing how much faster I've gotten at doing that, uh, just working on it the last few months, and I'm so happy that I can do that now because it used to be such a struggle and a grind and now it's now I feel the resistance which is normal but um, you know I can knock out a part like that you know in, in 20 30 minutes which is just awesome man it's just light years beyond where I was a couple months ago so I'm really happy to see this time I've been investing paying off so I'm gonna take a break have some food and catch up with you guys in a few second half of the day. Uh, edited yesterday's video, that was great. Got into listening to the guitar takes from last night. Overall that was positive. There was a little scare because it seemed like they were out of time, but all I did was just nudge them over in the grid, so I don't know what was going on for me mentally, because I did them to a click, and I was sticking pretty tight, so I I'm not sure what that was. Maybe it was just late in the day, and I kind of got off something, I'm not sure, but nudged it over, and it sounds like pretty darn good, and uh, there's no drums in it yet, so I can kind of track the drums to the solo, so it probably will work. I'm not totally sure, but I think I've got a pretty great final take. There's one little spot in it that I'm not a thousand percent sure about, but what I'll do is just let it sit for a day or two, come back, and then listen to the sort of top contenders, and then just pick one of them and probably roll with it. Um, I'm open to tracking more, but I would strongly, strongly prefer not to do that at, at a, uh, right now. I just feel like I've hit that point of diminishing returns already. So um, Then I just got into working on the new tune. That was fantastic. That's going really, really well. Just ironing out more of the uh, variations in the theme, ironing out more of the riff, and um, just really enjoying that. So appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Can't wait.